In her interview with Oprah Winfrey, the Duchess of Sussex explicitly denied researching to find out information about Harry. She also told the TV chat show host that she had little interest in the British royal family, while growing up in America. I D I D N T grow up knowing much about the royal family, she said. It W A S N T something that was part of the conversation at home. It W A S N T something that we followed. Meghan also said, Thank God I D I D N T know about the family. Thank God I D I D N T research. I would have been so in my head about it. However, the former Good Morning Britain presenter has reiterated his belief that such claims by the Duchess are nonsense. In a 7,000-word article for the Mail on Sunday, Mr Morgan wrote, Equally implausible was Meghan's insistence she never checked out Harry online when they first met or had much interest in his family. The former editor of the Daily Mirror claimed to readers he had been told by Meghan's former friends she had been fascinated with the royals and in particular with Diana. Mr Morgan's claims would appear to be backed up by recollections from a childhood friend of the Duchess of Sussex. Susie Ardicani has alleged that she and Meghan used to spend playdates watching Princess Diana's wedding to Prince Charles in 1981. Her mother, Sonia, told the Daily Mail in 2017. I always loved Diana, and I have her biography, which I gave Meghan to read. I videoed Diana's wedding back in 1981 and I would watch it with Susie and Meghan all those years later. They would also see items about her on TV. Meghan and Harry first met in July 2016, when a mutual friend arranged a blind date for them. In an interview with the BBC in 2017, Meghan said, I D I D N T know much about him, so the only thing that I had asked, our mutual friend, when she said that she wanted to set us up, was, well, is he nice? Cause if he wasnt kind, it just didnt seem like it would make sense. <laughs>